Hey guys, my name is Christine Morgano. I'm an artist from Melbourne, Australia. Today I'm going to show you how I upscale the drawing onto a large canvas. Um, about a month ago I did a review on the Easy Tracer. Thank you so much by the way to everyone who liked, commented, subscribed. I appreciate it so much. Um, there were a couple of comments, one of them um, saying that they wish there was another way to trace and somebody else commented that the Easy Tracer will only trace images of a 4x4 four four size and yes that is correct so if you're looking at this image here it's really only going to copy that size it's 4x4 four four. and obviously for what I'm scaling up right now um, that's not going to work for me so I haven't even had a chance to use the Easy Tracer yet but hopefully one day. Um, so I've reverted back to the grid method and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. I'll just give you like a brief explanation and if you guys um, think it's something that you'll use in the future then um, hopefully you'll understand it the way I explain it but I might not be the best at explaining it. So if not there are other videos out there um, that you can look up. There's heaps of really amazing artists out there um, but Knowledge is power and I just thought it might help somebody else on their art journey. One thing I, one thing that frustrates me is that there are so many artists out there and um, they sort of, they create these pages for artist support and you see like comments, you know, your artwork's amazing, you're an amazing artist and the artist will reply to all of those comments and then you'll have hundreds of comments like, oh wow, I love that paint, I've been looking for something like that, where did you get it from, or how did you do this, how did you do that, and there's no reply, like the artist has not replied to any of this, and that's just my experience, um, and so I just feel like if you know something, it's nice to share it, because it's not going to dim your success in any way, um, if anything, I feel like the more people that know how to do something, especially art or something creative, it's so wonderful to share it with the world. I think it is so important. And it, not only that, like it, it will make more of an impact if more people um, have more knowledge or know how to do something to be able to share it. So that's just my two cents. Um, so this is the image that we're going to be drawing up today. And by the way, this is a recycled canvas. Um, it was an old painting of mine and I've changed my direction. So. Um, I've just painted over it but just to give you a bit of background information the guys that I'm drawing up today they're brothers Australian bodybuilders very well known in the fitness industry Ziz he sadly passed away around 10 years ago and his brother has been carrying the legacy the Ziz legacy ever since um, and I really truly believe that they changed the game um, and really that they influenced an entirely different crowd to bodybuilding, which I think is absolutely amazing. I think it's such an achievement and I'm all about supporting our Australian athletes. And I don't know, I just felt really connected to do this piece and I can't really explain it, um, but I'm not gonna fight the urge, so it is what it is. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna go really into more detail than that because I plan on doing a and a once I finish the piece anyway. So um, that's just a little bit of background information for you guys. So what you wanna do first is measure your canvas. This is a 100 by 120 centimeter canvas. Just a tip for you guys as well is that you might find it easier to work with the same size canvases that you normally do. It's easier to transfer an image across like you'll automatically know your measurements. Um, so I work with three different canvases that I feel comfortable with. So if you're a beginner artist, you might um, like to try different sizes until you find one that um, you feel comfortable with basically. So once we know our canvas size, this one is 100 by 120 centimeters. You then wanna look at your image and pair that up with the canvas. I have left this negative space up here, which is part of the painting because I plan to either paint a halo or a crown or maybe paint their names in really cool lettering. I'm not quite sure yet, but I left that there for a reason. So what you'll do once you know what you want to fit onto your canvas, um, you will measure how far across it is here and also this side as well. Um, 
Now this is 24 centimeters and this is 20 centimeters. So I need to work out now, how am I going to fit those measurements onto this canvas? I like to start with one centimeter grids, um, just to give me an idea of what I can fit onto the canvas. So basically, because we're already counting in centimeters, so if you've got 24 centimeters across here, then you'll think to yourself, okay, if we start with one centimeter grids, that gives me 24 squares and I now need 24 squares to fit onto my canvas going this way. And the same for this. So this is 20 centimeters, which equals 20 squares. And I need to find a way to fit 20 squares down this side of my canvas. It needs to all be equal. Um, so you need to make sure that those measurements fit the canvas. Basically, what I think to myself is, okay, I want this image to be at least five times the size it is now. So instead of one centimeter grids, I'm going to make them five centimeters. So then what you'll do, there's a little bit of maths involved, unfortunately, it's not my strong point. Um, but what you'll do is then uh, do some multiplication. So you'll say, um, if you want 24 squares to fit along this side of the canvas, you will multiply five because five is the centimeter, the um, size that we want to upscale, five centimeters per grid. Five by 24, which is the number of squares going along here, and five by 24 will equal 120. Then you'll want to do the same um, along this side. So you have 20 squares, you want to upscale to five centimeters, so you'll multiply five by 20 and that will give you 100. So therefore this whole image will fit our canvas because our canvas is 100 centimeters by 120 centimeters. Your grids might not always look like that. So this is something that I drew up Captain Jack Sparrow a few weeks ago. Um, and I actually used 0 0.5 centimeter grids for this uh, drawing because of the detail in his hair and vest and things like that. But you might not need that many grids um, because for example I'll show you something different excuse my hand that is my finished Keith Richards piece and really um, if you feel more experienced as an artist close-up portraits can be easier sometimes than other paintings you might find that you um, only need a nine grid system which is drawing two lines that way and two lines horizontally um, because really you're just marking out the outlines of the face and drawing these things, all the details and things like that, you know, you add later. I will admit, I kind of used to think that this way of drawing something was cheating in a way, but when you think about it, not many people can even draw up something like this to begin with. Not only that, but you're the artist, like you're adding in the details, you're mixing the paints, you're choosing the shading and all, all that sort of thing. So I really, I don't kind of, I don't agree with it. Okay, so it's time to draw up the grid onto our canvas now. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there are markings. There are my markings, okay? They're five centimeters apart. I've just started on that left side. Another important um, tip, guys, is when you measure on one side, then you want to do the same on this side as well, okay? Like I have done, you can probably see some of those markings there. Um, and that is so that you are ruling straight lines because believe me, I have not done that in the past and it looks really skew if and um, it was a lesson that I've definitely learned. You want to do the same on the top and the bottom and I'll show you guys that now. Okay, so... Here guys, I'm going to do about the same, so we're going to go, um, we need five centimetre squares, might move that over just a little bit, and go five. Another really good tip is that when you're measuring these squares out, after you've finished, make sure that you actually have the number of squares that we have calculated. So you remember how before how we were saying we need 24 squares to fit along this side, we need 20 squares down this side. When you've finished ruling, just to double check, you know, measure twice, cut once, whatever the saying goes, <laughs> um, make sure you me um, yeah, count these squares, one, two, three, four, five, you know, and going across as well. 
When you're measuring your markings, make sure that you measure them the same way that you did on your image. So if you measured from left to right and top to bottom, do the same for the canvas. Don't go from the bottom to the top or the right to the left if that's not what you did with your image. This will just ensure accuracy. Okay, so I'm going to count the squares that we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's perfect. I'm now just going to start measuring the bottom. Okay, I'm going to start ruling out these lines, guys. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that um, some of you might ask, well, what happens to the grids once you've drawn your image? I mean, do people erase them? Well, you can erase the lines if you want to, if you don't like the look of it and you want to show progress photos and things like that. Um, or you can paint over it. It doesn't really matter. Um, because I've already painted over this canvas, I'm not going to erase it. I'm just going to paint over it. And so I probably won't show progress photos until... The base layers have been painted and you can't see any of the lines because I don't really like that look when I'm posting things on social media and things like that. I also just want to point out that coming from an OHS background, um, you need to do what's practical and safe and best for you. So if you feel like ruling, um, ruling your lines with a canvas is easy and not going to break your back, then that's fantastic. Or if you think that using a kitchen island bench might be easier for you, um, then that is also okay. It's just working out what um, is going to be good for you. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I've written the numbers. Um, I've also added the numbers to the bottom of the canvas and to this side of the canvas as well. Because when we're drawing up our image, we are going to be matching the numbers so that we know where to draw or where to start from. So rather, if I wanted to start from this side, rather than me having to look all the way over here and be like, oh yeah, we're going to start here. I can start from here and be like, okay, here. Okay. You can start wherever you like on your canvas. Some people find it easier to start from the bottom left hand side and continue for some reason I don't know why I like to start from the shoulder and go down that way and then <laughs> progress my way that way I do not know why but um, for the sake of this video I'll just I'll show you guys like this first square here so that's part of his arm right there okay square 20 and 1 we can just then look down here 20 and 1 and we're going to draw that part of his arm there. We're going to continue it up. Um, then once we get to 18, his forearm goes in a little bit and then comes back out to his bicep. Okay, you're just going to keep continuing it along just like what we're doing here. That's that part there that I've just drawn up. So we'll keep going with that. So we're up to around this sort of square here and we cross over to um, this square and then up here. So if you wanted to draw, draw this part of the shoulder, you would have a look up here, two, down here, 11, okay? Then you go to your canvas, two and 11, and that's your shoulder and you can start sort of drawing that in like that as well. So I'm going to keep continuing with this and show you guys the result after. I've just finished drawing up the canvas so I'll show you that I don't know if you can see it properly um, that's the trouble with painting over old canvases is that it is a little bit harder to see if you had a clear fresh new canvas um, you would see the lines perfectly um, but that just gives you an idea. Basically from here, you're going to start adding your base layers to your painting or your preferred medium. Um, you can start with the 
background base layers you can start with a subject it's really up to you at the moment it doesn't look anything like what I want it to but once you start adding layers you'll start to see the vision of your painting come together layers are so important that's it from me today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed my video please like comment subscribe I hope that I was able to help you in some way if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible that's it for now see you soon